Yeah, are we rolling? Oh, okay, we're rolling. Hello, Whoa, and welcome yay. to Mr. Monkey's Talk Show. And on, tonight on Mr. Monkey's Talk Show, we have a very special guest. Introducing... Parachute Monkey! Oh, why, hello there. How are you all doing today? My name is Parachute Monkey, and as some of you may know, I have fought in the World War of the Banana War, or whatever the heck it is called. I can't even remember what we were fighting for. It's really weird. But anyway, I'm here to talk to Mr. Monkey and to have a good time, and I hope we get to know each other better. So, here we go. Thank you, Parachute Monkey. <coughs> And I just like to say thank you all for coming to another yeah, episode of my show. Monkey. Actually, wait, this is the first episode because I'm lonely or whatever. But anyway, I'm here to talk about my new first contestant, also known as the legendary World War Fighting Parachute Monkey. Oh, stop. Hey, flaxy. don't interrupt me when I'm talking to you. So, Parachute Monkey, what was the role that you had assigned in World War, and what did you do with that role? Well, actually, I... Oh, oh, thank you, oh, thank you, oh, thank you. <clears throat> Well, actually, uh, my role was very strange, because the only thing that they wanted me to do was, like, kill the people that I, that, like, come into my path because I'm, like, a trained assassin or whatever. And, uh, basically steal bananas and apparently, like, I think we had this, like, giant freezer thing that was, like, as big as that, like, TV thing that you have back there. And it was, like, crazy. That sounds really weird! Why did they want you to store all those bananas in the first place? Is there a specific reason why? Were the other people trying to take the bananas? Well, yeah, it was kind of like that. It was weird. And basically, like, kind of what happened is, I can't actually remember, but I remember doing the job with my wife, and I remember that she actually got, like, stuck in the freezer, and she, like, froze to death or something, and when I, like, opened up the freezer again to check on the bananas, I just, like, found her sitting there, like, completely frozen in terror, because it looked like she saw something horrifying. And then I like turned around. And I was like. Oh my god what the heck is that. And I was looking at it. And the more I looked at it. I was like. Oh that's what that is. I'm about to die. What was it please. You have to tell me everything you know about this. I need to know. Okay okay I'll tell you. But like the thing that was so terrifying behind me. It was like. This six foot tall maniac of like, I don't know if it was like a monkey or like some sort of weird hairy, like really hairy human. He like, he like, he looked at me and was like, hey buddy, you want a banana? And I was like, uh, heck no, I don't want a banana from you, you hippie. And then he proceeded to get very mad at me and then he like threw me across the room and it was like crazy and it was, i hated it so much like the, uh, let me give you a demonstration of what happened no i don't think that would be necessary <laughs> was currently experiencing some technical difficulty we will be back shortly oh great and now back to your morning show morning show so i think that concludes our wonderful talk with parachute monkey Thank you, Parachute Monkey, for coming here, and I thoroughly appreciate it for you to tell me that story. Although I do not appreciate you jumping up into my face. That was very mean. Sorry um, about that. But anyway, thank you all for coming to my show, and the next episode will be out soon. <laughs> More like it in a month or a week or whatever. Bye! It's coming out on Easter! Hey, hey, what about me, man? Stop
Do 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 do